since that's going to be, you know, the top thing on everyone's mind, other than the fact that, you know, Lewis Hamilton is leaving Mercedes for Ferrari, which was another oh, thing that aged Mercedes. so badly. Well, yes, but at the same time, like, it made me really sad and emotional. Again, I'm in my feels right now, so everyone yeah. give me a break. But it, I did kind of get teary-eyed and, like, sad just thinking – him and Lewis and Toto have spent so much time together, so many years together, working on the car together. And to see this great relationship kind of crumble made mm-hmm. me really sad. Cause we, in every sport you have, not every sport, but almost every sport you have like one iconic coach athlete duo partnership. relationship partnership that you cling to. And it's like gold, right? Yeah. In Formula One, it seems like, that is Toto and Lewis up until, you know, a few weeks ago when we found out that um, he's no longer going to be staying at Mercedes. But yeah. so watching that and just seeing it kind of end before it ends was really sad to see. And like, I know Lewis came out and said, you know, Toto's listening and we're going to change things and this, that, and the other, but it's, I mean, clearly something happened and, he's moving but it made me sad yeah well I, th- I think that that it really and, and we discussed this in, in in the episode where um when when we were talking about Lewis leaving is that this this was you know not entirely financially driven but Ferrari is willing to pony up hundreds of millions of dollars to Lewis's contract and Lewis's you know philanthropic and include you know inclusion focused diversity focused efforts that Mercedes you know as as a company was not willing to to continue with because Lewis had had made it clear that he was you know very happy to you know die in his Mercedes race suit um yeah. but Mercedes as as a company above Toto was not you know down for that so I think that that you know it, it makes Mercedes as an organization not look so great. Um, and I also think that Netflix kind of did Lewis a little dirty with the way they, they portrayed him, especially at the beginning of the episode with that shoot that he was doing with George. Um, and as somebody who isn't a fan of Mercedes or a fan of Lewis Hamilton as a driver, I, it, it didn't strike me as, as the move that Mer- that Netflix should have made. See, and I didn't get that at all. I didn't think they made him look bad. I don't, I didn't get that perspective at all. Um, I thought it really showed how much this decision probably took out of him. Oh yeah. How hard it was. And I think they did a good job of really capturing like how much Mercedes means to him, how big of a deal it is, but also what's important to him. Cause he kept saying like, I told the team at the beginning of the year, the car was shit and they didn't listen to me. And then at the end yeah. of the year, it's like, oh yeah, the car is shit. You were right. And he's like this year, they're like kind of listening. So I think. Beyond the money and all of that, I think it's truly Fred coming to him and saying like, hey, we will listen to you. I'm going to give you a car. Yeah. You tell us what you need. We will listen. We will listen. Where, you know, Mercedes, I think, is more, w- w- didn't listen to him. And they, and they, that he lost that trust. And I think that's kind of what they were trying to show. But I think, honestly, I saw a person who was really grasping at straws trying to stay with their family but Mm -hmm. also realizing like they aren't the same family I joined 10 years ago or whatever so I think I think that's what we saw not necessarily and I don't think it made him come off as bad but that's just my perspective well no I I don't have an issue with like or I don't think it made him look bad, just like the, you know, the decision-making process going through when he was signing that contract extension. I just think that the, 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 when the film shoot and the way that they portrayed him at the film shoot, like not listening, not happy to be there, ready to get things, you know, over and done with. I thought that made Lewis look bad in a way that he probably wasn't um, in, in, you know, in, in real life in that situation. Yeah. But I mean, I would be frustrated and upset too, if I was telling my team shit's going or no, 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 not, not with, no, not with the car itself when they were doing the film shoot with those prop cars at the very oh. beginning of the episode. Well, yeah, but that's just yeah, like yeah, yeah. the overall, like if you're frustrated, you're frustrated and like, yeah. Because, so I just, yeah, I, didn't no, I, get, it, what I get what you're saying, good. but I, yeah. yeah. And then Toto's Same joke thing. about Lewis and the red overalls. And I, I just, that it's like that, that's kind of funny. Cause you're going to see that in a year. Um, okay. Um, 
have we said all we want to say about Mercedes? I think we have. I think so. Yeah. Um, Vegas. I'm so sad to see. Well, okay. Before we get to Vegas, I just want to reiterate again. I am really sad to see Lewis and Toto's relationship end. It's really oh, hundred percent. Yeah, really I don't know sad. what Toto's gonna gonna do. He's gonna have to lean on George and. Um, oh, God. Well, but also I think it's interesting too because they showed a lot of Fred and Toto talking and yeah. like how they've been friends for 20 years and they, you know, grew up in the sport together, whatever. We're really good friends, blah, 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 sitting on the couch, like Toto standing up for Fred when they're talking to him about Vegas and how bad things are and they're trying to get content yeah. out of him. And Toto's like, literally, shut He's up. Pissed. <laughs> He's, He's pissed. He's pissed. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Which, and it, but. And then you see like Lewis leaving for that, and they're really good friends. And the oh, I can just I can see the drive to survives uh, episode next season already. Oh yeah, I just want to know who called Toto if it was Fred or if it was Lewis first. Yeah, exactly. Like all of those conversations. Also, before we do move on to, to, from Mercedes, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad we saw as much Susie Wolf as we did, even though it wasn't Susie Wolf in the context of the F1 Academy. Um, other than she is the managing director of F1 Academy, it was nice to see you know Toto and Susie spending time together with their son on the cart track, um, oh and they're like the little the, the the jokes of like pat, pat me on the shoulder, like, like <laughs> look supportive, <laughs> support, yeah. I love those two. If I could be their child, I would be. Um, but see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the off the track, behind the scenes. Absolutely. Fluff. Like, that makes me love those two even more. And also their kid. I love how he's like, he's going to be the cart's so slow. that he's going so slow. We need to upgrade the engine. Let's let's get him off the track and put the big yeah. engine in. It's like, what a dad. And it's like, well, you're going to be, you know, driving racer or race car driver or whatever, driver is only your third option like you have other options of what you can be I just yeah. their kid is so cute that was like a a nice break from all of just the race content we got which I feel like we got more race content this year than yeah I I, I I will I will say that it will be awesome if we ever get to see little mini Toto on oh the grid God. as a Formula One driver that would be Oh, the storylines there. It'll be like a daddy stroll 2.0. Can you imagine? Yes. Oh my God. 